so I have had some changes in my job status and the last video that I did, I was doing that, the job hauling mail. That company was Allen Ritchie Incorporated. It was a great company. They were very good to me. I really liked that job a lot, but shortly into that job, I think I was there about three months. I was there just right when my insurance was about to kick in. And then it turns out that I didn't get my permanent postal badge uh, because you do have to have a postal badge when you haul mail for the U.S. Postal Service. Uh, so there was a snafu in that because of the pandemic and all of that stuff. So I couldn't do that job anymore. They didn't have any other positions available. So I sat around for a while and took some time off. But uh, then I got with the company I'm at now which is Sky Transportation. And I love this company. Uh, this company is based out of El Paso. They do over the road drive-in. Their lanes are kind of the Southern East West route. So anyway, I'm super happy here. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you a little bit about what I've been doing with Sky. When I first started with the company, I was going over the road. And so my lanes were uh, pretty much the I-10, I-20, and I-40 corridors. And um, I went as far as Atlanta on the east uh, to California to the west and uh, everywhere in between. So I was loving that. That was going great. I was making good money and they've got tons of miles, you know. They are so respectful. I love their equipment. The reason why I chose Sky in the first place was because I liked the way their trucks and their trailers look. Uh, because I, I won't drive an ugly truck. I just won't. That's just not for me. So I love their trucks. They have those lime green trucks and they also have some blue tractors. Uh, but they're, they're, I love their logo. Uh, so all that was going great. And then when my insurance kicked in, I decided to go uh, local and uh, they let me slide into a local position in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And I love that. Although I will say that in my opinion, what I've noticed is that local driving is, you know, harder work um, because you're getting in and out of uh, the truck all the time and hooking and unhooking and hooking and unhooking trailers and driving in city traffic and stuff like that. And uh, of course, in bad weather, it's just horrible. And day cabs don't ride as nice. You know, day cabs are really rough and bumpy. So, you know, all of that kind of takes a toll. What I'm liking about driving local is that I'm learning a lot about the Dallas-Fort Worth highways and byways. I know pretty much the Dallas area by the back of my hand now, and I like that. Uh, there's a, another learning curve, you know. Um, I'm backing into tight spaces at warehouses and uh, shippers and stuff like that, so uh, that's a learning curve for me because, you know, I come from the oil field. So, you know, hauling dry van, um, even though I've been driving for five years, you know, hauling dry van I never did perfect my backing. I'll put it that way. I, I never did really get a lot of experience and practice with backing a three foot trailer. You know, I'm, I'm still learning. I guess that's about it for now. So in my usual fashion, I'm going to show you some uh, clips of my driving adventures when I was over the road and back that up with some cool music. And so anyway, thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching. Bye.